she go? She's over there. Let's get Rhea in here. Okay, I'll call her. Rhea! Rhea! Bunny, what's up? Come over here. Okay. Why did you leave? Come and play with me. Sure. Can we play with the balloons? Of course we can. Are you guys alright? Yes, we're fine. Thank you. Enough of this. Let's play in the slide now. Come along everybody. Okay, here we go. Let me go first and wait for you. I need to ask you something. What is it? Did you see the numbers on the steps going up from 1, 2, 3, all the way to 10? Yes, we did. Did you know when numbers go up from lower to higher, it is called ascending numbers? Really? Is it ascending? Yes, when you climb up the stairs, we say you are ascending the stairs. Since the numbers go up, from 1 to 10. When numbers go up, it is ascending. Exactly, my friend. Okay, I got it. What happens if you come down the steps? The numbers go down from 10, 9, 8 until it goes to 1. That's called descending. Wow, I didn't know that. Yes, when you come down the stairs, we say you are descending the stairs. Since the numbers go down from 10 to 1. When numbers go down, it is descending. You got that. Can I go up the stairs now? Sure. I'm now on step 1. Okay, carry on. I'm hopping on to step 2. So, I went from 1 to 2 and now 3. Yes, it goes 1, 2, 3, and so on when you go up. So this is ascending numbers. Yes, when numbers go up, it's called ascending numbers. Okay, let me continue then. I'm on to four now. I'm on to step five now. I'm on to step six now. Yes, you went from three, then four, then five, and now six. So we are still ascending. I'm now back on step 5. Now I'm on 4. So I went from step 6 to 5 and now to 4. Yes, you came down the stairs from 6 to 5 to 4. This is called descending. Be careful. Do not jump from such height. You may hurt yourself. Sorry, I'll not do that again. Okay, here we go. That's one, that's three, that's four, that's six. Now, I've hopped from one to three, then to four, then to six. Is this ascending too? Yes, it is ascending. Let me explain. The bunny jumped from step one to step three, and then step three to step four, and finally from step 4 to step 6. So the numbers went 1, 3, 4, 6. Since the numbers are going up, we call them ascending numbers. Okay, now I want to come down. Wow, I jumped 3 steps down. Don't jump too far, you may lose your balance. Okay, sure. I'm on step three now. That's step number two. That's one. That's it. Now, I'm half down from six to three, then to two, and then to one. Is this descending? Yes, it is descending. Let me explain. The bunny jumped from step six to step three, and then from step three to step two, 
and finally from step 2 to step 1. So the numbers went 6, 3, 2, 1. Since the numbers are going down, we call them descending numbers. Okay, I guess that was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. Thank you for playing with us, Raya. Sure, I had a great time as well. Let's recall. Hi, this is Raya. Welcome, everyone. The bunnies were hopping up and down the stairs, weren't they? We learned the concepts of ascending and descending numbers. Okay, it's time to recall them. The bunny hopped up in an ascending manner. Which one of these numbers is ascending? Does this box have ascending numbers? Or does this one have it? Or does that one have it? Yes, this box has ascending numbers. Let's take a look. The bunny jumped from step 1 to step 3 and then step 3 to step 4 and finally from step 4 to step 6. So the numbers went 1, 3, 4, 6. Since the numbers are going up, we call them ascending numbers. Okay, let's see another one. The bunny jumped down in a descending manner. Which one of these numbers is descending? Does this box have descending numbers? Or does this one have it? Or does that one have it? Yes, this box has descending numbers. Let's take a look. The bunny jumped from step 6 to step 3 and then from step 3 to step 2 and finally from step 2 to step 1. So the numbers went 6, 3, 2, 1. Since the numbers are going down, we call them descending numbers. Nice to see you again, duckies. What magic can you show us today? You will see soon. Okay, we'll wait. I'm excited. Look at this picture. This is the first one. Let's call it as A. Look at this picture closely as well. Let's call this picture as B. Look at this picture closely as well. Let's call this picture as C. Look at this picture closely as well. Let's call this picture as D. Okay, now I have a question. Which two pictures are identical? Take a careful look. You only see two pictures which are exactly the same. Which ones are those? Is it A and B? No, it's not. Try again. Is it B and C? No, that's not right either. Try again. It's A and B. You got that right. Let's give a big round of applause. Let's look at the two pictures which are the same. You can see the four flowers, red rose, sunflower, pink tulip, and purple orchid in the same order between these two pictures, A and D. So, those are the only two pictures that are exactly the same. We call them identical. Let's make these pictures disappear and get a set of new pictures. Okay, here we go. Look at this picture. It has a bunch of fruits in a certain order. Let's call it as A. The same fruits, but are they in the same order? Take a look. Let's call this as picture B. Look at this picture closely as well. Let's call this picture as C. This is the final picture. Look at the order of the same fruits. Let's call this picture as D. Okay, now I have a question. Which two pictures are identical? Look closely. You'll see only two pictures are exactly the same. Which ones are those? Is it A and 
and C? No, it's not. Try again. Is it B and C? That's exactly right. Let's give a big round of applause. Let's look at the two pictures which are the same. You can see the four fruits, banana, grapes, strawberry and pear in the same order between these two pictures B and C. So these are the only two pictures that are exactly the same. We call them identical. Let's make these pictures disappear and get a set of new pictures. Ok, here we go. That's a set of animals. I'm sure you know them. Let's call it A. Take a careful look. Take your time. Let's call this picture as B. You know what to do? Look at this picture. Let's call this picture as C. This is the last one. Take a look. Let's call this picture as D. Ok, now I have a question. Three of the pictures had the same four animals. One of them was different. Which one was it? Look closely. You will see only one picture that has a different animal. Which one is it? Is it A? No, it's not. Try again. Is it B? No, that's not right either. Is it C? Ok, you got it. But which animal was different in this picture? It's the horse. That animal is not found in other pictures. Exactly. Let's give a big round of applause. Pictures A, B and D had the same animals, namely cat, dog, cow and a pig, even though they were not in the same order. But picture C had a different animal, namely horse. So that's the picture which is different. That's a set of toys. I'm sure you like to play with them. Let's call it A. Look again. Take your time. Let's call this picture as B. Look at the picture carefully. Let's call this picture as C. This is the last one. Let's call this picture as D. Ok, now I have a question. Three of the pictures had the same four toys. One of them was different. Which one was it? Look closely. You'll see only one picture that has a different toy. Which one is it? It's B. Wow, that's perfect. How did you find it so quickly? I saw the helicopter. That's not found in other pictures. Exactly. Let's give a big round of applause. There were four toys in all the pictures. Pictures A, C and D had the same toys. Namely, a toy airplane, a toy car, a toy truck and a toy train engine. Even though they were not in the same order. But, picture B had a different toy. Namely, the helicopter. So, that's the picture which is different. Thank you for all the magic, Monty. I'm sure everyone enjoyed it. You're very welcome, Mother Duck. Bye, Monty. Bye, duckies. Let's recall! Hi, this is Rhea. Welcome, everyone. We saw Mr. Monty show sets of pictures to explain the concept of similarity and difference. Let's recall them. Take a look at the three sets of pictures below. Can you tell which two are exactly the same? Is it A and B? Or is it B and C? Or is it A and C? Yes, B and C are exactly the same. Let's take a look. Let's look at the two pictures which are the same. You can see the four fruits, banana, grapes, strawberry and pear in the same order between these two pictures B and C. So these are the only two pictures that are exactly the same. We call them identical. Let's see another one. Take a look at the three sets of pictures below. Can you tell which one among the three has a different toy? Does this box have a different toy? Or is it this one? Or is it that one? Yes, this is the box that has a different toy not found in the other two boxes. Let's take a look. There were four toys in all the pictures. Pictures A and C had the same toys. Namely, a toy airplane, a toy car, a toy truck and a toy train engine, even though they were not in the same order. 
But picture B had a different toy, namely the helicopter. So that's the picture which is different. 